understanding Cowper's glands, their function and potential disorders. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a fascinating topic that often flies under the radar, Cowper's glands. These tiny but mighty glands play a crucial role in the male reproductive system, but not everyone knows much about them. So let's break it down and get into the nitty gritty of what these glands do, why they're important, and what can go wrong if things don't function as they should. Let's get started. What are Cowper's glands? First things first, what exactly are Cowper's glands? Also known as bulbarethral glands, these small pea-sized glands are part of the male reproductive system. They're located on either side of the urethra, just below the prostate gland. Despite their small size, Cowper's glands have a big job to do, and their function is essential for a healthy reproductive system. The function of Cowper's glands. So what do these glands actually do? The primary function of Cowper's glands is to produce a clear, slippery fluid known as pre-ejaculate or pre-cum. Now you might be wondering, what's the point of this fluid? Well, it's all about preparation. Here's how it works. Before ejaculation, Cowper's glands release this fluid into the urethra. The pre-ejaculate serves several purposes. 1. Lubrication. It helps to lubricate the urethra, reducing friction during ejaculation. This makes the passage of sperm smoother and more efficient. 2. Neutralizing acidity. The urethra also serves as the exit pathway for urine, which is acidic. The pre-ejaculate neutralizes any remaining acidity in the urethra, creating a more sperm-friendly environment. This helps protect sperm and increases their chances of successfully reaching the egg. 3. Flushing out residual urine. Sometimes small traces of urine can be left in the urethra after urination. The fluid from Cowper's glands helps flush out these remnants, ensuring that sperm isn't exposed to harmful substances. In short, Cowper's glands are like the unsung heroes of the reproductive system. They prepare the urethra for the safe and smooth passage of sperm, playing a key role in male fertility. Common Disorders of Cowper's Glands All right, now that we know what Cowper's glands do, let's talk about what happens when things don't go as planned. Like any other part of the body, Cowper's glands can experience problems. While disorders related to these glands aren't super common, they can still occur and cause significant issues. 1. Cowper's gland cysts One of the most common issues with Cowper's glands is the formation of cysts. These are fluid-filled sacs that can develop in or around the glands. Cysts can be caused by blockages in the ducts that drain the glands, leading to a buildup of fluid. Most of the time, Cowper's gland cysts are small and don't cause symptoms. However, in some cases, they can grow large enough to cause discomfort or pain. Symptoms of Cowper's gland. Cysts, pain or discomfort in the pelvic area. Difficulty urinating or a frequent urge to urinate. Swelling near the base of the penis. If you experience any of these symptoms, it's important to see a doctor. While Cowper's gland cysts are usually benign, non-cancerous, they can sometimes require treatment if they cause significant discomfort or complications. 2. Infections Infections can also affect Cowper's glands, though this is less common. When an infection occurs, it's usually due to bacteria entering the glands through the urethra. This can lead to inflammation, pain, and other symptoms. Symptoms of an infected Cowper's gland Pain or burning sensation during urination Swelling or tenderness in the pelvic area Fever or chills in severe cases If you suspect an infection, it's crucial to get medical attention right away. Infections can usually be treated with antibiotics, but if left untreated, they can lead to more serious complications. 3. Cowper's gland cancer While extremely rare, Cowper's gland cancer is another potential disorder. Because it's so uncommon, not much is known about this type of cancer, and it can be challenging to diagnose. Symptoms might include pain, swelling, or the presence of a lump in the pelvic area. If you notice any unusual changes in your body, it's always best to consult with a healthcare professional. When to see a doctor. So when should you be concerned about your Cowper's glands? As we've discussed, most disorders involving these glands are relatively rare, but it's still essential to be aware of the signs and symptoms. If you experience persistent pain, swelling, or difficulty urinating, it's time to see a doctor. Early detection and treatment can prevent complications and ensure your reproductive system stays healthy. Cowper's glands may be small, but their role in the male reproductive system is significant. They prepare the urethra for ejaculation, protect sperm, and contribute to overall reproductive health. While disorders related to these glands are uncommon, it's important to know the signs and symptoms of potential issues so you can seek medical attention if needed. That's all for today's video. 
If you found this information helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content on health and wellness. Stay informed, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one.